Porsche's top-selling model, the Macan, is going electric. The German brand just unveiled its new EV crossover in two guises, the 402 horsepower Macan 4 and the 630 horsepower Macan Turbo. This is a big deal. Underpinning the second-generation Macan is a platform co-developed with Audi. Called Premium Platform Electric (PPE), this platform uses an 800-volt electrical architecture and will make the basis for the upcoming Audi A6 and Q6 EVs, and likely, an all-electric Porsche Cayenne. The battery uses lithium-nickel-manganese cobalt cells arranged in 12 modules for a net capacity of 95 kilowatt-hours, 100 kilowatt-hours gross. Porsche was the first automaker to make an 800-volt production EV with the Taycan, and this higher voltage architecture allows for a reduction in copper usage and faster charging speeds. Find an 800-volt DC charger and the Macan can charge at up to 270 kilowatts. If you plug into a 400-volt charger, the battery pack effectively splits in half and charges in parallel, reducing charge times significantly. Top Videos both the Macung 4 and Macung Turbo use permanent magnet synchronous motors at each axle, and the rear motor is rotated 180 degrees to ensure a slightly rear-biased weight distribution. In the Macung 4, they combine for 402 horsepower and 479 lbft, while in the Macung Turbo, you get 630 horsepower and 833 lbft of torque. All those figures are achieved with overboost which is only available for a limited time when using launch control. Speaking of acceleration, Porsche says the Macan 4 can run from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds, while the turbo does it in 3.1 seconds. Top speeds are 136 and 161 miles per hour, respectively. The rear motor also ditches the two-speed gearbox used on the Taycan because Porsche was able to hit its top speed and acceleration targets with just a gear reduction. Axing the multi-speed transmission also helps save weight and reduce drivetrain losses, both boons to overall efficiency. Like the Taycan, however, the new Macan won't offer a one-pedal drive mode, instead managing the vast majority of regenerative braking via the brake pedal. Depending on battery state of charge, the Macan EV can regenerate up to 240 kilowatts energy in braking. EPA range figures have yet to be announced. Suspension is by Multilink's front and rear. The front suspension design is like a double wishbone setup with the upper wishbone split into two links, which moves the steering axis further outboard. Both variants will come standard with air springs and Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM, adaptive dampers. New for the Macan is an optional rear wheel steering system that turns the rear wheels up to 5 degrees in or out of phase with the fronts. Turning the wheels in the opposite direction helps with maneuvering the car at low speeds, while moving the rears with the front has the effect of virtually lengthening the wheelbase at high speed, promoting stability. Design-wise, it's typical Porsche, evolution, not revolution. The Macung's distinctive coupe-like shape and proportions remain, though at the front, there are new Taycan-esque daytime running lights. The headlights move lower down the front bumper, and the gas Macung's distinctive clamshell hood is now gone. The hood line is lower, though, as there's no engine under there, just a small additional trunk for charging cables and the like. Porsche also claims a low drag coefficient of 0.25 thanks to the use of active aerodynamic elements like a deployable